Hi, Tom Coley, coach for BCSN. And uh, when I always say it's an honor and a privilege to be uh, with a coach or an athlete, I mean it, but I even mean it more today because we're with uh, Mr. Eric Kennard, uh, Olympian. And uh, Eric, uh, you know, I say that, you know, that's going to invoke a lot of feeling for you. Kind of take us inside. What does that mean when people are now saying Eric Kennard, Olympian? Uh, it's a huge accomplishment. It's a huge accomplishment. It's, I'm a part of a kind of an, a league of extraordinary gentlemen and ladies, you know, so it's, it's a fraternity within itself. And uh, like I said, it's an honor. When you go to the Olympics, Eric, you, you're such an accomplished uh, uh, athlete, great student, uh, you know, just a, a great role, role model for young people. Mm -hmm. But when you go there, I was trying to get to, do you scout out the other people? Do you know, you know, basically what they jump and what you have to do? And, or you just worry about Eric Kennard and that's it? I mean, you know, I'm aware of, you know, other competitors, but I just worry about myself. I mean, like I said, that's a huge accomplishment to be going to London, but it's not a victory, you know, so I have to go out there and, and jump to uh, make the finals and get in the finals and compete, that's it. You know, we were chatting off air, Eric. You wear very cool socks, <laughs> you know, with the striping on them. And, uh, you know, you're, you're a, a business uh, major, entrepreneurial business major uh, in college. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe uh, you can market those socks. You know, Pete Maravich did it in basketball. Yeah. You know, maybe you could do it with the Olympics. Uh, maybe, you know, if it's a market, if it's a, a target market out there, I'll definitely market them. You know, track and field is a co ed sport, especially, you know, in high school, it's, it's the most participated, you know, it gets the most participation, especially for younger kids. So uh, I'll definitely have a market, you know, just got to get a business plan going and uh, you might see some socks around here pretty soon. I'll be the first one to buy a pair. Right. EK, you've been always successful, you know, always a class act, always successful, always a good student, always doing the right things. And I think it needs a great support system to be able to, to do that. And, and I know your family has, you know, been tremendously supportive what does it mean to them this is the culmination of all their work with you yeah. you know what does it mean to them to be you know eric Kennard olympian it means a lot i mean they're walking around like peacocks walking <laughs> so especially my mom and dad yeah and, uh, i mean like i said it's everybody's proud everybody's proud it's a it's a huge accomplishment and they're doing all the bragging for me so you know i'm not you know a man of many words at times so uh, <laughs> I'm just, as you can see, out here sweating. And, you, you and know, me both. <laughs> yeah, working hard and, you know, just getting ready, you know, preparation. EK, it's kind of interesting that we're here at Rogers, uh, you know, field, beautiful track they have here, great field. And it's kind of where it all started for you. Yeah. You know, that it's kind of a neat thing. And uh, do you have um, a coach, teacher, somebody that you'd look back? I know you, everybody's been great to you. But you have somebody in particular that you'd say, boy, hey, you know, without their help or interest, maybe I wouldn't be preparing to go to the Olympics. Um, the whole Rogers coaching staff, I mean, the whole track and field staff, Coach Browning, Coach Hathaway, Coach Hayden, Coach Redway, Coach Pargo, you know, all the way down to the least important, sure. all the way up into the head. I mean, and the Rogers family, I mean, it, it takes a village to raise a child. And I mean, it, it took a, a large village, you know, to help me grow into the, the young man that I am today. I mean, from parenting, you know, to uh, mentoring Mr. Enzyme, you know, just, just the Rogers family in general. This is, this is a very uh, family-based school here in TPS. So. Yeah, Rogers, uh, last year, Eric, the last two years, the Rogers teacher has won the uh, Teacher of the Year on uh, BCSN, two Rogers teachers back-to-back. -back. So yeah. great coaches, great teachers in the TPS system, and we're proud to be associated with them. I know your whole life you've always gotten the uh, the Kobe look-alike thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. You probably sign autographs in airports for uh, Kobe, but nah, I'll sign my name. do you sign your name? But I'll tell you what, I think after the Olympics, you know, it might be the other way around. People might start coming up to Kobe and saying, Eric Kennard, what do you think? Hey, maybe. You know, maybe <laughs> I put, a, put on a good enough show. Uh, tables to turn a little bit so how about technique uh, are you where you think you need to be because I know you got a peak right at the right time are you healthy are you feeling good you know get, take us inside that I'm healthy I'm training hard and I feel terrible right now <laughs> because of all the hard work but uh, I'll be fine I'll be ready to go when the time comes so. how do you focus yourself EK I mean I, you know all that work the culmination of all that hard work and effort is going to go into just a few jumps does that weigh on you at all or are you able to kind of put that aside and say hey i prepared my whole life for this i'm gonna enjoy it and where it takes me it takes me yeah i just kind of put it aside i mean i don't place any you know track people you know in the more significance than the other i kind of just go out and compete every competition is important to me i'm a winner i hate losing yeah. so uh, every competition is 
of equal importance. So a win is a win is a win. That's it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Whether I jump two feet or seven feet, seven eight or seven nine, a win is a win. Yeah, you're, you're a very articulate young man. Uh, we've always enjoyed uh, talking to you through the years. You know, you've always been a role model in our community. And, and and you've always accepted and embraced that, you know, and, and and it's so it's so great. What would you tell young kids that you know they're looking at you, they're reading about you in the paper, they're seeing you on BCSN, they're going to watch you in the Olympics, and in the back of their minds, you know, grade school kids are thinking, I'd like to be, you know, I'd like to be Eric. You know what? What we what did you tell them? What is some of the keys to your success, Eric? Uh, you know, first of all, I would tell them, don't be Eric, be better than Eric. I mean, I'm not by any means, you know of holy stature you know I just work hard and I was given a gift and I ran with it you know you they can be better than me you know I didn't win a state championship my freshman year you know I didn't win a, a indoor national championship in college I've yet to win an indoor national championship in college they can be better than me you can be anything you want to be you know hard work dedication you know and faith you can do anything so that's what I would tell them. EK you're always insightful uh, it's always a pleasure to chat with you on behalf of Buckeye Cable, BCSN, the Toledo community. Everybody is rooting for you. They will be rooting for you. They'll be watching the Olympics intensely and uh, bring home a medal, big guy. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much, Eric. Good luck to you. Tom Cole, the coach for BCSN.